Now, uh, in this series, I want to talk about uh, what training programs to follow. A lot of uh, my followers, uh, you know, ask me question about what training uh, format or what uh, training program to follow when you're uh, doing the transformation or training otherwise. I would say when you're training otherwise, it's um, pretty much easy to, you know, follow a training program like a simple one like uh, strength training, which is five into five. <laughs> I mean, you might ask me, why do I, uh, you know, numerously stress on strength training, especially the five into five? Now, if you look historically as well, Reg Park was the one who came up with this uh, five into five, and he is uh, a former Mr. Universe and uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger's mentor, and uh, he was the first person to, matter of fact, bench press 500 pounds. So, if it has worked for him. Surely it would work for uh, any natural athlete, right? And uh, make a note that I'm talking about five into five and not on uh, any other training program. Now, in that particular program, you basically do you know bench, squat, and deadlift. Uh, you can do it for three you know three days a week or four days a week, depending on your you know uh, proficiency in uh, training, be it intermediate, advanced, or a beginner. And also uh, depends on your recovery. Now you can find uh, numerous articles on uh, five into five and uh, strength training. Now, if you're doing a transformation, what I would like to tell you is uh, the most important thing are two things. One is consistency and second is intensity. If you don't bring in intensity to your training, it just becomes a drill. And uh, more or less when you uh, go through the motion of just doing a repetitive exercise, just going based on numbers, then it's definitely not going to yield you the kind of result uh, what you are expecting to get. Uh, and other thing which I wanted to stress was about consistency because if you train uh, balls, you know, balls to walls for two weeks and then discontinue it for next two weeks, it's not going to uh, fetch your results. So consistency is another vital aspect of training. Certain programs which I would like you to avoid is um, which most of us or most of uh, beginner to intermediate people do which is following a professional's training method or a training program. Now the problem or the harm with it is uh, when you follow a training program uh, which a professional follows is you have to understand that their strength levels, their training experience and the kind of stuff they are on is completely different to a natural athlete. If somebody and strength training program which you follow is going to help you in building muscle, shedding fat. The only difference is when you lift heavier weights for you know lesser repetition and focus more and uh, put in the intensity, it's going to give you results uh, more in terms of strength gain and uh, not exactly you know in terms of getting jacked. But it helps you getting jacked but not to the same degree. If you want to really get ripped and stuff, if that is your intention, then you have to follow the hypertrophy principle. However, uh, if you're somebody who's a beginner, all right, and if you're a skinny guy or something like that, then it's always advisable to follow a strength program, put on a bit of mass, and then try to shred, rather than just following some, uh, you know, like uh, programs which you find in bodybuilding.com and just Go on that and expect the same kind of result, it's not gonna uh, happen. I would say train for like uh, four days a week if you're a beginner or even uh, in case of intermediate. Make sure you train uh, the entire body part in this uh, four days of training. And uh, a day of cardio is far more than enough, assuming you're putting in like uh, 40 minutes of uh, uh, time and that's all it is required. You need not train for one and a half hours or so. It's absolutely not feasible for a you know, uh, natural person, right? Uh, so this is what you got to do. I, I would say follow like five into five and add in a bit of uh, hypertrophy for your uh, like uh, arm training, the biceps and triceps. Uh, trice. I would say keep it anywhere around like uh, four sets of within 10 repetition uh, with a decent amount of weight. That's gonna build arms. Now shoulder, um, obviously when I say, you know, five into five, you could also use the Pressing movements, shoulder presses, like uh, military presses, that's going to build the overall uh, shoulders. Do a bit of lateral raises and the front raises, that's going to uh, define the shoulders, right? And for the legs, I would say squatting is uh, the king of uh, exercise when it comes to legs. Apart from that, you could add in uh, a leg press and a little bit of uh, leg extension, right? 
and uh, when it comes to chess, it's the same thing. Uh, add in the barbell or uh, you know dumbbell uh, flat bench press. Alternate it between decline and incline uh, bench press on a, a alternate workout. That would uh, oh, okay. I forgot about the back now. Back, I would say deadlift, uh, T-bar rows, and uh, a bit of uh, a lat pull down or chin up. These are the only exercises which you need to make your body change and do it for eight weeks or say 16 weeks and you're gonna see your body transform.